I want to lead you through the journey towards the exterior design of the EQS. Every journey starts with a map, so let's have a look on the wall behind me. As you can see here, the Mercedes-Benz design is spread all over the world, almost, as we could say, along the belt line of the planet, from the very far west over Europe to the very far east. In these IDCs, International Design Centers, a fantastic group of internationally creative working people have been done dozens of showcase visions and concepts for brands like Mercedes-Benz and their sub-brands, as well as for corporational partners in the past. But every design starts with engineering and with the package. So here we have an example of a project that we have been starting eight, nine years ago, when we said we need a new revolution towards EV limousines for the future. You can see this simple package drawing. We have the battery in the low, we have a more or less five meters object, four people represented by two in this package. And we were thinking, okay, we've done three box and we've done two box packages. Let's try something new. And we found out that there's a very simple, efficient, and possibly best case, in the end, also beautiful way to spread over five meters and four persons. And we called it the bow. The bow design became the base for the exterior of the FF15, and we still see it in the later EQS. Looking on this one to four model, it's a uh, yeah, it's a real uh, grab out from the, from the scenery and from the phase when we created the design further on from 2D into 3D. You see the seamlessness of the whole shape supported by one silver skin where you could look from the inside out but not the other way. Seamless design is what we called it. Everything is based on our design philosophy of sensual purity and never been staged better before than in this object. So together with our colleagues from Interior Design Interface UX, all the engineers and the designers in the IDCs, we created a totally new holistic vision of a future EV luxury limousine. And that was the beginning of something that we call today progressive luxury. And now I hand over to Robert Lesnick, who will lead you through the further process. Thank you, Stefan. So we took all those crazy ideas, new thoughts, new proportions, obviously, new design features and themes from our design colleagues from Advanced, developed them further and put them into production car. Starting with a completely new technical base, completely new, we call it purpose architecture. And we believe purpose architecture deserves purpose design. Just simply, we extended the greenhouse and gave additional space to a customer. Or you might say, you see from outside, there is more space inside. Speaking about luxury and jewelry that is so typical for every Mercedes car, definitely star pattern grill is one of those highlights. But I would say not less interesting is the shape of the rear light. In this case, we came up with Helix. The inspiration comes from a light bulb, actually from the Helix within it. But we didn't go straight to the car. We modeled and designed and built a sculpture. You can call it a piece of art. And once we were happy with it and the function, we just turned it around and put it into the car. Okay, it was not that simple. Another challenge was definitely aerodynamics. Ah, by the way, EQS is going to be world's best aerodynamic car ever. Means, I would say, in the top view, you really see this, drop shape. Once that shape is defined and established, then definitely you have to spend countless days and hours in wind tunnel optimizing every little detail. And at the end, everything comes together in a clay model. We at Mercedes believe that the final touch, the real feeling can be put in a clay model only by the hand of a skilled modeler. But still, it's a clay model. So, at a certain point, you have to put on the foil or just paint it. Then, I believe, clay model becomes alive. You really see this interplay of shadow, light and dark and all those beautiful highlights. I'm looking forward to see this beauty on the street.